Hello. Today I'm going to walk through the steps to getting started with the S3 Auto Trader for Sierra Charts. I'll begin with a review of why you might want to use an Auto Trader, how the S3 strategy works, and how to obtain, install, and set up the forgiving computer Auto Trader for Sierra Chart. Today I'm going to walk through the steps to getting started with the S3 Auto Trader for Sierra Charts. I'll begin with a review of why you might want to use an Auto Trader, how the S3 strategy works, and how to obtain, install, and set up the Forgiving Computer Auto Trader for Sierra Chart. Who am I? Well, I'm Brad Hauser. I'm an IT professional with over 30 years experience in Silicon Valley. I started trading in the 1980s when I was granted employee stock options and have been trading stocks, options, and futures on and off since then. I've used online trading platforms like E-Trade, Fidelity, and Schwab, as well as Thinkorswim, TradeStation, and Sierra Chart. I like Sierra Chart for its flexibility, performance, and low memory requirements. I've been developing custom studies for Sierra Chart for about two years, first for custom indicators and now for auto trading. I am married with three adult children and two grandchildren. We started Forgiving Computers as a PC training business in 1991 with customers such as HP, Connor Peripherals, Seagate, and Intel. We now specialize in developing custom trading systems. Okay, so why auto trade? Trading methodologies can be described as either discretionary trading or system trading. Discretionary traders make decisions based on market conditions, price action, experience, and other factors. System traders, also known as mechanical traders, follow a set of rules that can be quantified. Auto traders are programs that follow a set of rules to determine when it's time to enter and or exit a trade. Auto traders are able to handle a complex set of rules and quickly signal the time to enter or exit. The signals can be set to make the trade automatically or to only alert the user of a setup. A program that automatically takes trades based on your rules is by its very nature following your plan. What is the S3 auto trading system? Okay, this graphic here shows a visual of the S3 trading system. You'll notice it has cyan bars and magenta bars. The cyan and magenta bars meet a certain set of rules. That's the preliminary rules for uh, S3. And the white arrows and yellow arrows are a refined set of rules that re increase the probability of a successful trade. I'll go through these rules and how the arrows and colors work in the next few slides. So S3 Auto Trading System, it stands for the Selectable Scalping System. And here are the rules. For long entry, the 8 EMA crosses above the T3-8 moving average. The T3-8 is sloping up. The setup bar is look for a bar that closes above the T3-8 moving average. The signal bar is the next bar. It must close between 5 and 24 ticks higher than the previous close of the setup bar. Then we enter with a long market order on the close of the bar, the first bar that meets all of the above. Note there may be other bars. As we saw, there were multiple cyan bars, but only the first one is the one that we can trade off of. The short entry is basically the opposite. The ADMA crosses below the T38MA. The T38 is sloping down. We look for a bar that closes below the T38. The signal is that the next bar must close between 5 and 24 ticks lower than the previous close. We enter with a short market order on the close of the first bar that meets all of the above. Exit on any of the following. We meet the target price. Yay! The stop price met. Not so good. Or when price closes on the other side of the T38 moving average. This would be an automatic exit. Okay, here's a visual explaining that. The examples here are of a long and a short. Now we're using volume bars, which look like candles, but they're actually different in that they're not time-based, they're based on a certain number of contracts traded. In this example, we're using 2000 on the NQ future. 
So let's first look at a long entry. On number one, you see that the 8 EMA crosses above the T38. This green line is the 8 EMA. That's the beginning of looking for a possible long setup. Secondly, the setup bar closes above the T38. Now this green one is also a setup bar, but the next one didn't meet the, all the rules. So it becomes, it's not a signal bar, it is also a setup bar, okay? Now the signal bar is this third one here with the white arrow. It's the first bar after the crossover that closes five or more ticks above the previous bar and the slope of the T38 is up. So the reason why this first cyan bar was not a signal bar is because the slope was flat. It was changing between down and up. The slope has to be white or actually up. The previous, it has to be higher than the previous one. So that allowed this to be the signal bar. Signal means take a long entry at the close of this bar, and we would have entered here and looked for five, five ticks or so, and would have, would have probably exited up here somewhere with a profitable trade. In the short scenario, the ADMA crosses below the T38, means, meaning we're looking for shorts. The setup bar, which is this one, closes below the T38. So now we're looking for the next bar to p potentially be a signal bar. Okay, now this is number six, the signal bar is the first bar after the crossover that closes five or more ticks, but less than 24 below the close of the previous bar and that the slope of the T38 is down. Okay, so those are the rules. Now you'll notice some of these bars are darker. These dark cyan bars had more than f uh, they had more than five ticks, but they also had uh, more than 24 ticks. So even though they met the five tick rule, they didn't meet the 24 tick rule. The thinking is that if it moves too much, there's a good chance it could uh, return like this one did. This one closed down pretty far from the previous one and it ended up going right back up again afterwards. So we don't want to take the signal bars that are too long. Uh, the level that you look for is adjustable in the trader, so uh, it's not hard and fast. So the auto trading system that is available has the following features. It implements the rules of the S3 selective scalping system. It adds the automatic exit if the price closes below the T38. So going back to the previous slide here, you'll see that suppose we entered a trade here Let's give another example. Yeah, let's say we entered the trade here. We, would, we probably would have exited with a win. But if the price closed below the T38 here, then it would have exited automatically if it needed to. Now, in addition, in order to implement your trading plan, it adds a daily profit loss target. So you can set it up so that if you're looking for $100 a day, you, add, you put that in as your daily profit target, but you don't want to trade any more today if you lose more than, say, $100. So you can put those in, and the auto trader will stop giving you signals to trade when those conditions are met. You can go back and turn them back on if you just want to watch the signals but not trade. You don't have to take them off. Now, you can adjust the input parameters. For example, the volume bar size <coughs> is always adjustable. The minimum tick difference, which in our case is five ticks, or the maximum difference, which is 24. So this is the di difference between the regular color bars and the dark cyan or ma dark cyan uh, magenta bars. Also, you can adjust the number of contracts. If you want to trade two or more contracts and have, say, a, uh, an initial target and a higher target so that you can have a runner, you can do that. And it, it supports attached orders, which is where you can set your target and stop and have the uh, trailing stop parameters set up so that when you enter the market order, it basically enters an OCO order with a entry, a stop, and a target. Now, all trades can be entered or closed or adjusted manually. The auto trading system does not take over completely. 
you still have the option of manually overriding any aspect of the system. And I'd like to mention that the members of the tradingfibs.com receive substantial discounts on the uh, auto trading features. So um, if you're interested and you are a member, please contact David or Brad in the trading room for information on how to get that.